Good morning, everybody. March 1st, finally, 2018, 632 a.m. Current temperatures, uh, a little bit cooler in the northeast today, but you know what? The temperatures don't matter because we have some severe weather situations going on right now. Now, I want you to look at this term, bombogenesis. Some of you may have been familiar with this, ter this term during Winter Storm Grayson, where we had those 90-plus mile-an-hour winds up near Nantucket. Excuse me. And uh, Massachusetts, well, guess what? This is what we're dealing with again. We are going to be dealing with a bomb cyclone nor'easter um, mixed with Winter Storm Riley. So we have a winter storm, we have a nor'easter part of it, and now we are talking about bombogenesis and a bomb cyclone. Now, bombogenesis is when you drop 24 millibars in pressure in 24 hours. Winter Storm Grayson destroyed that by, I believe it did 30 or 40 millibars in 24 hours. This is also very capable of doing that. So the more the pressure drops, the stronger this storm is going to be. And that is what we call bomb cyclones. That is also a mix of cold and warm air. The reason that is happening is because we have this big system moving up into the northeast while we have Winter Storm Riley coming down on top of it. Right now, Arkansas, most of, uh, all the way three quarters up from our, into Arkansas, all the way down are under flash flood warnings. I have our, our county by county website pulled up here. You can see flash flood warning is that color, that burgundy, all through Arkansas. Uh, that includes western Tennessee and northern Mississippi. Uh, these areas are under watch for a lot of rain in a short period of time. We've been talking about this for days now. This is also where we could expect those tornado watches. That's important. It's very important to keep local weather on, guys, especially if you live in these states throughout today. Now, this moisture system is going to be moving up into the northeast again while we have Winter Storm Riley slamming over the Great Lakes. Areas in Michigan um, and to the west of Lake Erie, Buffalo, Rochester, uh, Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, some of this snow could move in as far as Albany, New York, northern New York here. One to two feet of snow. The closer you get to these Great Lakes, the more snow you're going to get. Um, two feet of snow is very, very likely um, to the east of Lake Erie because of this. Now, what we're dealing with is a bomb cyclone here. Now, this is a nor'easter, it's a winter storm, and then we have the bombogenesis effect with the drop in pressure. Now, you can see the areas in pink, that uh, is directly related to winter storm warnings. So, we are going to be dealing with a winter storm warning with most of New York, and then the super, super winds out here. These are all very strong wind warnings. That includes Nantucket. Nantucket is expected to get upwards of 90 mile an hour wind gusts between now and the third. <clears throat> this is basically going to be a two-day cycle, so we're going to have two high tides uh, involved with this. So we're talking anywhere from four to six feet of extra water being pushed into the coast of these areas. Now, this does not uh, exclude certain areas. We need to understand that parts of Long Island, uh, especially Montauk, that's the last uh, most farthest east town uh, on Long Island, 60 to 70 mile an hour wind gusts could raise even higher, but what the issue is is the way that it's spinning counterclockwise, it's pushing that water into these areas, and then by Chesapeake Bay, New Jersey, that's where the pullout is going to begin. So I'm going to show you a few different things here. Now, we're going to look at this chart first. Like I said, Arkansas, you are under flash flood warnings for the entire day today. Anywhere from 6 to 8 inches of rain being dropped in a couple hours, and that extends into areas of western Tennessee. We have north Mississippi in there that could skim north Alabama. Uh, southwest Kentucky, you will be involved in that. But then you'll notice as we move forward in time, those high rain rates begin to die down. That would be uh, Nashville, Tennessee is involved with that. Then we have Knoxville in there too. Um, areas, anyone that lives in those areas, be very, very aware, especially if you live near bodies of water, uh, that we're going to have a high rise. This is going to add into that flooding situation going on in the Ohio River Valley. Guys, very serious weather. This is nothing to mess with. These are two systems here um, interacting with each other, causing that bombogenesis effect. That is a drop of 24 millibars in 24 hours. And the reason that it's calling this a bomb cyclone, once again, is the mix of cold and that warm air coming up from the Gulf. So we have a warm system, and then we have a cold front, which is Winter Storm Riley, meeting together right over the Great Lakes. And that's what's causing that heavy, wet, back-breaking snow that you just don't want to deal with 
all over areas of New York and to the east of the Great Lakes. Now, as far as the wind goes and the surf, you can see this low pressure begins to curl in. That's why areas like Nantucket in this yellow, not only will you be getting six to seven inches of rain in a small period of time, it's going to be that stinging rain because we're dealing with upwards of 90 mile an hour winds, guys. I, w I want you to remember from last time with Winter Storm Grayson, we were reporting on that days beforehand that there could be 90 mile an hour winds, and people were calling me crazy. They were literally saying, you are out of your mind, there's no way there's going to be 90 mile an hour winds. Some areas broke that, guys. We had 100 mile an hour winds up in certain uh, high altitude areas so it is absolutely possible and this is lining up to be that situation now even 70 mile an hour winds are super damaging anything on the beach would be gone we're talking hurricane force so this is a uh, pretty significant situation you can see the blue color here where that line cuts off you have south uh, I guess you would call that southeastern New York. Looks like it's going to stay rain, but all the blue here, that's all blue moisture. That is snow. Most of the state of New York will be dealing with snow, and then there will be a sloshy mix in this area, but the main concern is going to be the wind and power outages. Um, guys, wind related with power lines, they just don't mix. And now that we have two different systems, you can see Winter Storm Riley driving underneath while we have this low pressure system moving up and over top of it and that is where that bomb cyclone turn comes from so that's what we need to really focus on here now we're pulled out a little bit here on tropical tidbits this is going to show you the flash flooding going on in Arkansas and exactly where it's going to move into there you have it right there and then you see that low pressure right there that is the beginning of this bomb cyclone situation and then as we move into the northeast it breaks into two and they begin to interact with each other and then boom look at that guys this thing is going to be crazy the amount of water that this thing is going to drop with the wind it's going to be you're not going to be able to be outside it's going to be that intense so I would not be surprised to see some evacuations in those exposed areas of Massachusetts. They're going to expect you to go inland at least 50 miles to avoid these situations. If you do live in Nantucket, I would either just make sure you stay in your house or I would make a plan to go visit some family somewhere else uh, closer inland because it just, you know, the amount of pressure this thing is dropping that it's going to drop or expected to drop is what's going to bring those very high wind rates. And that's what the issue is going to be. We can deal with rain and we can deal with snow. We've been doing it all winter. But it's when we start dealing with these crazy winds that people just like kind of forget how to, you know, function, if you want to call it that. So, uh, once again, we are dealing with a system that is very comparable to Winter Storm Grayson. I'm going to move forward here again. Sorry about that. They take away the buttons when you zoom in too far. I didn't even realize. So we'll back this up. We'll switch it to GFS. And here we go. So we're going to move forward here. There is that flooding going on in Arkansas that's going to move uh, west to east. And then it begins to interact in those two different low pressure systems. And then there you have it. This is by March 3rd. We are going to be dealing with the highest issues. So guys, again, Nantucket, Long Island, that exposed area of Connecticut, um, you can even go farther north, Providence, Rhode Island, uh, Boston, Massachusetts, Concord, New Hampshire, and even areas in Portland, Maine are involved in this. Look how high up these purple colors are. So here is a little bit of an animation of what to expect. You've got that driving moisture coming up to the northeast while you have Winter Storm Riley coming down underneath it. That is what's causing that uh, counterclockwise bomb cyclone situation and they call it a bomb cyclone because of how much moisture is dumped in a certain amount of time it's almost like a bomb being dropped so we're gonna have snow we're gonna have wind we're gonna have rain high surf uh, four to five feet being pushed into these areas very very significant here are winter storm warnings for New York we have high wind warnings all throughout the next three days all up all up and down the East Coast this is going to include even um, areas of Virginia and North Carolina uh, as far as wind goes on the coast. You're not going to be dealing with that bombogenesis effect really because that begins up in this area. But again, you need to understand this moisture that's moving from Arkansas all the way up through northern Mississippi and Alabama is going to start affecting these states as it gets pulled up. So there could be some high winds in uh, North and South Carolina, West Virginia. So you just got to keep an eye on charts like this to be up to date. That's why I always uh, talk about this chart here. Very important chart. You can click on your county and find out exactly what's going on. Now, as far as 
the pattern that this is moving in, you can get a good idea from this chart here. Uh, you can just see the moisture. There's a lot of moisture getting pulled over Arkansas right now. So you can see right over top of Louisiana that these explosions of green here, that the more green you see, the more moisture there is. And you can see it's being pulled up, and then it gets dumped over areas of West Virginia. we got Indianapolis in there, Ohio, and then as you get north into the areas of Michigan and this stuff, this is all going to be snow here. That's Winter Storm Riley. Sorry about the flashing. We have the same exact situation going on with this here. You could just see the amount of moisture this thing has. It's unbelievable. And then that low pressure is going to come in, and boom, it's going to meet it. And that's where it, why uh, Nantucket, Long Island, Connecticut, these areas could be dealing with upwards of 90 mile an hour winds. And that's just the way it works, guys. Bomb cyclones are no joke. Uh, let's see if we can get an accumulation here. This is uh, Ventu Sky. So between today the first, here is the second. We can see easily four to five inches of rain uh, near Arkansas. They're expected, um, but that's also the strong thunderstorm. So we're dealing with wind, possible tornado warnings. And as you get into the third, you can start to begin to see the amount of moisture that's going to get dumped. One inch of rain one in is one foot of snow. So these areas are going to get one to two feet of snow to the east of the Great Lakes. Now, if you don't believe me, here we go. Winter Storm Riley to undergo bombogenesis, becoming an intense nor'easter with coastal flooding, high winds, heavy, wet snow. That's the snow you don't want. That's when you have temperatures where the snow is not like ice particles. It's half wet and it's half uh, dry or half frozen, rather, and that's when it becomes very heavy. The heavy snow is the more wet snow, and you're going to get that along that band. You see those pink colors there? That's where we have this low pressure spinning counterclockwise while we have a winter storm pushing down underneath it. You get that line of wet, heavy snow, and that's the snow that's going to be uh, around the Great Lakes areas. So, yeah, guys, this is a uh, pretty significant storm, and we're going to have to just push through it. And it's going to be between now and the third. Let me back up here one more time and give you an idea of what we're going to expect here. There you have it. These areas here in the purple, you got to keep an eye out. And then, boom, that's why they call it a bomb cyclone. The thing just explodes. High winds being pulled counterclockwise. Anything in these areas here, as just picture this spinning circle, and it pulls moisture and then pushes it into the coast during high tide, high rain rates, high winds. Um, Basically, nothing to mess with. So, once I get back from work around 1, 2 o'clock today, I'm going to update us on this because that is when the beginning of this is going to start. But um, if you live in the Northeast right now, especially New York, be prepared for high snow and high wind. And then areas of Nantucket all the way south into Long Island, wind rates between 70 and 90 miles an hour. Some of those may be even higher. So, just be prepared, guys. I always put it in the description box. Have a plan. Stay safe. Be prepared. Um, it's always good to be, be, uh, be prepared for weather like this. Again, I will never tell you to go spend money or buy supplies, but I feel like if you're an adult, you should understand that if you're dealing with weather like this and you have the proper warnings, which is why I'm here, uh, you should have some sort of plan, especially if you live on the coast. So we're going to be dealing with two high tides with this that uh, the wind is going to be pushing in even farther. So we can add about four to five feet uh, to those high tides. So if you live anywhere near a beach, that includes you as well. All right, guys. Um, sorry, I got to cut this short. Once again, it is the work week still, but uh, this weekend I have dedicated to the YouTube channel. And just look at that moisture over Arkansas. Unbelievable. No wonder they have flash flood warnings. And those warnings will move into Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, as far inland as West Virginia before we start getting that bombogenesis effect going on with the nor'easter and winter storm Riley. All right, guys, have a great morning. Stay safe. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I will answer them as I can while I'm at work, and then I'll get to most of them again once I'm off work. All right, guys, take care. Thank you very much.